Hello everyone, it's Jade from Boho Bookworm. I hope you're all doing well. I just thought I'd do a little mini book haul today because I got a voucher from work for winning a competition. So I went onto Amazon and I bought myself two books I'm really excited to dive into. The first one, I, it just sounds brilliant. It's considered the new Bridget Jones, Confessions of a 40-something Fuck-Up by Alexander Potter. So this is apparently about this girl called Nell, I believe, and her life is a mess. She lives in, you know, this this day and age where she looks at Instagram and everyone else's lives kind of seems perfect and she considers herself to be a complete fuck up and a 40 year old fuck up at that. So she's just like wondering how the hell she got to where she is. So it sounds quite apt for my life because I might not be 40, but I'm definitely a 30 something fuck up. So I'm excited to give this a go. It's a lot chunkier than I thought it would be, but I'm, I'm really like enjoying more more like humorous contemporary women's fiction books lately. I don't actually think I've finished a thriller this year so far. The first book I read, which I'll discuss in my January wrap up one day, I still need to publish my December wrap up. Sorry for the delay, but Wi Fi, you know. Um, the first book I finished throughout 2021, I think it was like Watermelon by Marion Keys. Um, so yeah, I'm just really on this kind of vibe at the minute, and I think that this will be a really good book. The second one, oh, I, it's just like eye candy, eye porn, book porn, whatever you want to say. It is the little book of Christian, apparently I say this wrong, Louboutin, Louboutin, it's not Louis Vuitton, but uh, yes, I, my dream one day is to have a pair of these shoes. And I just, I, I went to the cinema recently and I watched The House of Gucci and I just absolutely, like, I was so fascinated by the story and the fashion and I'm, on my Amazon wish list, I've actually put in like a sewing machine and like books on how to start sewing because now obviously I think I'm going to become like a, a fashion designer and live happily ever after. Obviously I'm not, but you know, a girl can dream. But I want to learn more about these designers and stuff. And this one is like, you know, my absolute dream to have a pair of these red soled shoes. So I'm looking forward to diving into this and learning the story. There is also the Gucci book. So I want to collect them eventually. They're quite cheap. They're like nine pounds on Amazon. So there's Gucci, Prada, Dior, Chanel, and I plan on having them all on my bookshelf, which I still don't own yet, but I will buy a bookshelf at some point too. At the minute, all my books are either stacked over there or up on my window over there. So yes, these are the two books. I am still, I know it's terrible. It is what, the 14th of January now. I'm still reading The Good Sister by Sally, Hep Sally Hepworth, but I haven't really had much time to read. I've just booked a little bit of a holiday. So I'm hoping that I can just have a day to myself with books and relaxation. That's coming up. So. I will finish that and then I think I'm going to dive into this one, whereas this one is going to be more of like a coffee table book that I can just kind of pick up and read as I go and just purr over all of the immaculate designs because it is full of them. I had a little, little peek into it earlier, but oh my goodness gracious me, look at them. I mean, they're not the ones I want, but shoe porn. I never thought I'd be that person. But apparently I am. Anyway, I hope you're all well. I will get off this now, otherwise my Wi-Fi is going to conk out and you're never going to get this video. <laughs> Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.